What if I told you that aliens have already invaded our planet not from the sky but from the depths of the ocean? Say hello to our spiky extraterrestrial friends, the sea urchins. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, sea urchins? Those spiky little creatures that we often find along the shorelines and in the depths of the sea? Yes, indeed. You see, sea urchins are fascinating creatures, and their unique physical characteristics make them stand out from the rest of our planet's inhabitants. These intriguing marine animals are covered in spines, like some sort of otherworldly armor. They're part of the echinoderm family, a group that also includes starfish and sea cucumbers. But it's not just their physical appearance that sets them apart. Sea urchins have five-fold symmetry, a characteristic that's rare in the animal kingdom. This means they can be divided into five equal parts, much like a star. This symmetry is not only unique, but also quite mysterious. Why would a creature develop such a pattern? Could it be a sign of extraterrestrial origin? And let's not forget their habitat. Sea urchins inhabit every ocean on Earth, from the chilly waters of the Arctic to the warm currents of the tropics. They've been found at depths of up to 15,000 feet, where light is scarce and the pressure is immense. It's a harsh environment that would be inhospitable to most life forms, but not to our spiky friends. They thrive in these extreme conditions, much like what we imagine life on other planets would have to endure. Now we're not saying that sea urchins are definitely from another planet, but their unique physical characteristics and their ability to survive in extreme environments certainly make you wonder. Could these spiky sea dwellers be our first encounter with extraterrestrial life? So the next time you're at the beach, remember you're not just sharing the sand with crabs and seagulls, but possibly with aliens too. Now you might be thinking, sea urchins, aliens? I've heard some crazy theories, but this one takes the cake. And you wouldn't be wrong, it's absolutely outlandish. But let's dive into this ocean of conjecture and see if we can't find some pearls of truth. Firstly, let's talk about regeneration. Sea urchins have this uncanny ability to regenerate lost parts. Lose a spine? No problem, they just grow another one. Lose a whole limb, they'll just whip up a new one like it's no big deal. It's almost like they have a cheat code to life. Now this could be a result of natural evolution, but what if it's more than that? What if it's a sign of alien meddling? After all, we don't see other creatures on Earth with such a potent power of regeneration. It's more Star Trek than Animal Planet. Then there's the matter of radial symmetry. Most creatures on Earth have bilateral symmetry, a left and a right side. But sea urchins? They've got radial symmetry five equal parts arranged around a central axis like a star. It's a design you'd expect to find on a spaceship, not a seafloor dweller. Seems a bit fishy, don't you think? And let's not forget their alien-esque appearance. I mean, come on, they look like they've just stepped off the set of a sci-fi movie. All those spines and tubular feet, they're more extraterrestrial than terrestrial. Now I know what you're thinking. Isn't this all a bit far-fetched? And yes, it is. But in a universe as vast as ours, is it really so crazy to imagine that life on Earth might have been influenced by life from beyond our planet? So next time you're at the beach and you see a sea urchin, remember, you might just be looking at a tiny spiky ambassador from a far-off galaxy. And there you have it, folks. Sea urchins. The spiky, regenerating stars of the ocean, or should we say, the universe. As with any good theory, there are always those who want to poke holes in it, or in this case, spikes. Let's dive into some counter-arguments that might leave our alien sea urchin theory treading water. First, let's look at the most obvious rebuttal. Biology. Yes, sea urchins are weird. But so is a lot of life here on Earth. The platypus, the blobfish, the narwhal, they all could be extras in a sci-fi flick, but they're homegrown, right here on Earth. So, why not our spiky friends, the sea urchins? And let's not forget about evolution. Some skeptics say that the sea urchin's unique features, like its five-fold symmetry or its ability to regenerate lost body parts, are simply the result of millions of years of evolution, not extraterrestrial origins. They might argue that the sea urchin is just another example of the weird and wonderful variety of life that evolution can create. Then there's the argument of science. Last I checked, no spacecraft or alien technology has been found inside a sea urchin. No secret messages or cosmic blueprints, just a lot of spines and a penchant for algae. But let's not let facts get in the way of a good story. After all, isn't it more fun to imagine that these spiky little critters are the scouts of an advanced alien civilization sent here to monitor our oceans? What if they're just waiting for the right moment to signal their overlords to invade? It's a fun idea, isn't it? Of course, these counter-arguments don't necessarily disprove our theory. They just present a more terrestrial explanation for the sea urchin's quirks. 
But hey, who knows? Maybe one day we'll find a sea urchin piloting a tiny spaceship and we'll all have to eat our words. So while some may find this theory a bit too spiky to handle, others are completely urchin for more. Whether you believe sea urchins are aliens or not, one thing's for sure, they certainly add a splash of mystery to our oceans. Now let's dive into how this theory has caused ripples in the field of marine biology and the scientific community at large. When the theory first surfaced, many scientists were, understandably, a bit shell-shocked. After all, swapping lab coats for tinfoil hats isn't something scientists do on a regular basis. But as they say, in the ocean of knowledge, every drop counts. And this theory, however outlandish, has certainly made a splash. It spurred on new research, not just into sea urchin biology, but also into the mysteries of the cosmos. In fact, it's given scientists a whole new perspective on the search for extraterrestrial life. Now instead of just looking to the stars, they're also peering into the depths of our own oceans. But, it's not all serious science. This theory has also given us a good chuckle. I mean, imagine a sea urchin with its spiky exterior and slow crawl, trying to navigate a spaceship. It's enough to make anyone crack a smile. And it's this combination of curiosity, humor, and a pinch of the absurd that keeps us engaged in the quest for knowledge. So, whether you're a marine biologist, an astronomer, or just someone who enjoys a good laugh, this theory has something for you. It's a reminder that sometimes, the most bizarre ideas can lead to the most profound discoveries and who knows, maybe one day we'll find out that these spiky sea creatures really are from another planet. In the meantime, we can enjoy the humor and wonder this theory brings to our world. It's a reminder that science, like the sea, is vast, mysterious, and full of surprises. So, next time you're out surfing, remember, you might just be riding the cosmic waves along with our alien friends, the sea urchins. So, there you have it, folks, the cosmic journey of the sea urchin. From the depths of the ocean to the far reaches of the universe, it's been a wild ride, hasn't it? Let's take a moment to regroup and revisit the highlights of this theory. We started our journey with the sea urchin, a seemingly ordinary sea creature. But as we've discovered, there's more to these spiky little fellows than meets the eye. According to our theory, they're not just residents of our oceans, but they may very well be extraterrestrial visitors. We've delved into their unique anatomy, their mysterious behavior, and their uncanny knack for space travel. Remember how we talked about their peculiar radial symmetry? It's as if they've been designed for interstellar navigation, and those sharp spines, they're not just for defense but possibly for communication like some sort of alien antenna. We've poked some holes in our theory too. After all, where's the proof? Where's the spaceship? But then again, who needs a spaceship when you're your own little cosmic voyager, right? And as for evidence, well, we're still waiting on that alien DNA test. We've surfed the cosmic waves together, imagining sea urchins floating through space, carried by underwater currents and cosmic winds alike. It's a picture that's both intriguing and amusing. But as we conclude this journey, let's remember to take it all with a pinch of sea salt. This theory, while fascinating, is just that, a theory. It's a fun way to explore the unknown and to appreciate the wonderful complexity of life, both on Earth and potentially beyond. Whether they're aliens or just misunderstood sea creatures, one thing's for sure. Sea urchins definitely know how to make a point. Until next time, keep your eyes on the stars and your feet in the sand. Who knows what alien life you might stumble upon next.